Within our community, the term bioactive refers to the soil having dynamic life. While this does mean isopods and springtails, it also means molds and the breakdown of leaves and branches. You often hear that people want to go bioactive so they don't have to clean up the poop. While it is true that organisms will break down waste in a bioactive system, any time gained by not picking up poop will easily go into monitoring and maintaining the balance of your system. Now, what would chameleons have to do with a bioactive system? I mean, they stay in the branches, don't they? This is true, and when starting out, I usually recommend that you keep your chameleon on a bare floor so you can develop the skills of monitoring their health by looking at the poop. You are working on how to keep a chameleon, and you should have that down before you add bioactive to your list. But using bioactive soils has proved immensely successful in raising up babies and some of the very hard to breed chameleon species. So there is immense value in adding that to our skill set. But the major reason why I'm such an advocate of the bioactive systems is that it promotes the thought process that our chameleon enclosures are an environment to be tended to rather than a cage to contain. I will be diving deeper and deeper into helping you develop bioactive skills throughout the year. Tomorrow, I'll be talking about how cage size is just as much for us as it is for the chameleon. This is the second episode in a series of six on captive chameleon environments. If you are seeing this more than 24 hours after release, then the next video is gonna be right here. If you're that dedicated chameleon wrangler that you're seeing this on release day, then please consider subscribing and I will see you tomorrow.